Lordstown Motors fails to complete the San Felipe race. The region's economy may be recovering better than expected. And a new partnership is bringing shop class back to area schools. This is the Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Lordstown Motors all-electric endurance pickup truck completed just under 40 miles of the San Felipe 250 race in Mexico before withdrawing. Now they say they're taking the lessons learned back to Lordstown as they prepare to ramp up to full production. The endurance went 39.8 miles before leaving the race. Of the 270 entrants, just 187 were able to finish. A second EV entry also didn't finish. Lordstown Motors is in the process of beta testing the endurance, which it says will go into full production in September. A new report from Team NEO says the economy in Northeast Ohio may be recovering faster than originally thought. The report, based on data from Moody's Analytics, projects that gross domestic product for the 18-county region is expected to fully recover to 2019 levels, though it estimates employment recovery will lag. Earlier estimates projected the region would see a 5% decline in GDP and 2.5% growth. The new figures project only a 3% decline with a 4% growth rate. During the peak of the pandemic, the region lost about 175,000 jobs. Updated projections show job growth of about 1.7% this year. A new partnership is bringing shop class back to several local high schools and giving students an opportunity to graduate with industry credentials. A partnership between the Builders Association of Eastern Ohio and Western Pennsylvania, the Educational Service Center of Eastern Ohio, and the Carpenters and the Joint Apprenticeship and Training Committee will install shop space and rooms at 10 area school districts. Part of the funding is coming from a $150,000 grant. On April 15th, school superintendents, principals, and teachers toured the Carpenters Training Center in Richfield to see what the new spaces will look like. Students who participate in the program will be able to earn up to 24 industry recognized credentials, which will improve their eligibility for entry into other participating trades. Schools taking part in the program this year are Austintown, Boardman, Brookfield, Canfield, East Palestine, Sebring, Springfield, United, Warren, and West Branch. And congratulations to the YSU women's bowling team who advanced to the NCAA championship bracket for the first time in the program's history. The Penguins went 8-1 in the regional bracket before moving on to the championship bracket where they fell to number one McKendry University. The program started in 2016. You can read more in Dan Heiner's story at businessjournaldaily.com. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: It's knowing you were treated right every time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.